Somebody <laughs> asked me a question today. I did a, a, a Zoom interview. A shout out to Miss B. And uh, one the, the guy asked me about um, viatical settlement. You know what that is? Say it again? Viatical settlement. I thought you said Viagra. I'm yeah, like, wait, what? Damn. What, what happened? They do? What fires are doing? What they did? <laughs> so this Somebody is, this is too many pills. This is a question that I haven't been asked in a very, I've never heard this in a very long either. time. But um, <clears throat> so you can sell a life insurance policy, and there's um, like funds that actually buy life insurance policies from people, mm, okay, elderly people. It's kind of like a, a reverse mortgage in a sense. Um, so like let's say somebody is seventy years old, and they have a two hundred thousand dollars life insurance policy, and they need money. Mm-hmm. Like they don't have any money to actually live, but they do have an asset, which is a life insurance. So now the company could would buy the life insurance policy, let's say for forty thousand mm. dollars. So it's forty thousand to you, but they they'll based on the expectancy that you'll probably die within the next seven years, right? Yeah. Mm. So it's like okay, I pay forty thousand today for two hundred thousand dollars that will mature in seven years, mm. right? Um, <clears throat> so there, yeah, that's something that um. Like I said, I haven't been asked that question in a long time, but I guess they saw a commercial and they was asking me about it. So that is something that you can, it is a, a strategy, um, but it is important to keep in mind if somebody's going to buy an asset, usually they're not buying it unless they're going to make right. a high rate of return. Yeah. Right, right? Right, right, right. It's like anything. Minimum right? 5X. Yeah. Yep. So um, <clears throat> that's why it's important to have other planning in place. Like last week, we talked about retirement plan and we talked about investing because you don't want to get to a point where that's your only asset to sell. Because yeah. A, I mean, yeah, you're shortchanging the amount, but also now you no longer have that life insurance policy as far as the beneficiary is not. If you were going to leave it to your grandkids now, yeah. they're, they're screwed. Yeah, stuck. They're done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's something that um, you know hedge funds have been doing for a while. And uh, they buy, they buy up life insurance policies. They go and they look. It's like a distressed asset. Yeah. They they see who's vulnerable. They see who who Home might selling the life insurance is crazy. Shout out to you record labels who've been doing the same thing and they've been giving the moms and the money when they die. Yeah. We're gonna talk on blackout. Well, day. yeah. But everything's a business. Everything's a business in America. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, and they found out that that was actually a viable business opportunity that they can because it's guaranteed. Um, and they pay the premium, so they'll take over. They'll pay the premium. But in return, they'll get the death benefit when you die. Mm. They do this whole term how, 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 Yeah, how how expensive is the premium? Well, it's the same premium that it, that it, whatever it was. Well, oh, pri- so what? Okay, so that what? that would be like if somebody got a life insurance policy on their their elderly parents. Very similar in that sense, where the premium is going to be a little bit more. Obviously, it, it depends age. when you get it. Like exactly. I'm saying, like somebody can get life insurance when they're 40 years old, right? And they have it, and they paid premiums for 30 years, right? And now they're 70. So they, you ask term. They don't do it on term. They do it on whole life because term is gotcha. expired. So it's all based off of calculations. So they want to do it on a, what the probability that you're. So that's why like the 70 is a sweet spot because mm. like 78 is like the life expectancy, 82, something like that. So you buy it on an elderly person. Yeah. Um, That person probably already had life insurance for a while because you can't get life insurance at 70. It's going to yeah. be mm-hmm. difficult. So they probably already had it for at least 20 years. Yeah. So they'll. So if their premium, if they paid the premium since they were 50, they're just going to take it over. They're going to mm, take the premium payments gotcha. over. And now when, they, so they're just sitting, they sit and wait for you to die. And, and buy then them in bundles. And, and then when you, exactly. So now if you got a whole portfolio, if you got a hundred million dollars in life insurance that you've, that you've purchased for, let's say $20 million, yeah. you just, you've, you've essentially, you, you're buying money. Absolutely. With the with the maturity date, and so it's like bonds in a sense, right? Where it's it's guaranteed, you're paying a premium. So let's say that premium over. The, so let's say that by the time you finish paying the premium, you're gonna pay forty thousand on your forty million on your portfolio. So yeah. you you're gonna spend forty million, but you're gonna get two hundred million guaranteed because everybody's gonna die. Yeah, yeah. It's, but is that transferable? So like, what if the person who's buying it? Well, you said it's a hedge fund, so it's a little bit different. But it's, if it was an individual. Is that transferable? Is that something that can be passed down? Like, how does that, how would that work? Is what transferable? So, like, if let's say me as an individual or I have an LLC or a company that is now buying these insurance policies. Let's say I do it on 20 people. That goes, that's under my portfolio, right? That is a transferable asset to my 
like my son, my daughter. Probably upon liquidation. No, it's going to go to your company. Yeah, it's, it's going to go to the company. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, so it's it's not like a personal thing. It's it's, yeah. it's in the corporate. So like I said, it's kind of like a reverse mortgage. We haven't spoke about that in a while. But um, What's that called? Viatical Settlement. Viatical Settlement, okay. I so, need to get some insurance on some of y'all careers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. The life expectancy you of your today. What is the life expectancy I hear you. Of, Let me cash career. you out today, my boy. I hear you. We won't. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> they were like, no, we can't insure it. But also, if you have, a, if you have an elderly... <laughs> If you have an elderly person in your family, just make sure because they'll get targeted. So they might not fully Absolutely. understand. They say, "Oh, why well, somebody gonna give me forty thousand dollars today?" That sounds good, like you know. And um, like I said, it's like a reverse mortgage in the sense where a lot of times people can't pay their mortgages anymore. So somebody oh kind of they'll they'll pay they'll buy out the home. So they'll still they still live in that home until yeah. they die. But when they die, now the home goes back to. The fund or the bank or whoever the did person it. Bought it, yeah. so it's like okay i'm gonna I'm take care of your mortgage that sounds good mm -hmm. to somebody until they until they realize that yeah they're paying your mortgage for three years to get your home yeah so it's like what's three years of a mortgage payment for a million dollar home yeah for real seven hundred thousand out the, oh my god that's, be careful that's a hell of a flip so yeah so gotta be gotta be careful I forgot one thing about the viatical settlement that chat GPT reminded me, which makes it even more like shows you how like American capitalism works. So most of the time it's actually done. I said in the life, but uh, so it's, it's a viatical settlement is a financial arrangement in which a person with a terminal or chronic illness sells their life insurance policy for a third party for a lump sum payment. The buyer of the policy becomes beneficiary and assumes responsibility for paying the policy's premium upon original payers uh, death. Uh, typically, the payer, the payment, the seller receives. <clears throat> so this is this is the this is the important part. Um, it's usually for people who need immediate cash to cover medical bills and mm -hmm. living expenses or financial needs while they're still alive. So it's like, all right, you have brain cancer. You got six months to live, yeah, and you don't have enough money to actually. So it's a multi-layered conversation. This speaks to the American health system as well. Mm -hmm. People don't have enough money to actually pay their medical Absolutely. bills, right? So it's like now you got somebody in Wall Street that's like, okay, this person in Nebraska has brain cancer and they're about to die, but they don't have enough money to actually even get chemo. Yeah, mm. you got a half a million dollar life insurance policy. I'm gonna give you fifty thousand dollars. Yep. So at least you can get chemo chemotherapy for a couple of months. After that, your your life insurance policy is mine. That's crazy. This happened a lot in eight ways. Patients in the nineties as well too. That was a big cash grab for a lot of investors, and it came out maybe ten years after that they were doing that. Yeah, yeah it's it's sad so, and sick. Yeah, it's yeah. a crazy world we live in, especially on that insurance side. But yeah, what you gonna do? Somebody's always gonna it's always gonna be. What do you do? A shark in the water. Always arbitrage. If you need it, what you gonna do? Yep. Yeah. But pay attention to the numbers. They're yeah. looking for five X return. Number I've told you about endlessly. Every asset class are looking to exit around the same area. Please be careful. And going back to the healthcare issue, this is one of these conversations about how much money do you need and levels of wealth. You can go bankrupt really fast in two or three months if going through chemo and radiation. If you don't have the money and insurance doesn't cover it, you can write up a bill for two, three hundred thousand dollars in two or three months. For mm -hmm. sure. So we, gotta, easy. we gotta talk about long term care one week too, because that's another way you go. Even uh nursing homes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those nursing homes are like thirty thousand dollars a month. A month? Some are. Damn. And get the house. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Damn. That's yeah shit is real. Yeah, that's like a month. So yeah, if you don't uh, if you don't have what uh, happens is that they exhaust so with them that's an interesting case study too, because they're like, Okay, well, um the government comes in with like Medicaid, Medicare, whatever. Um but they only do that when you exhaust, when you have no money. Mm -hmm. So you got to exhaust all of your retirement account, yeah. all your bank account. Every, you, they, they, like you literally have to be poor. Almost destitute. Then the government will come in and, and, su and supply some help. So yeah, that's another thing. You you save your whole life for your 401k and then you get dementia and now that 401k is gone in a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why you got to plan for that as well. Or now you got to live with your your son or your daughter and now you put it that's a tremendous stress that you got to put on there yeah because it's like you can't you're not gonna have your parents just out in the whim yeah but they're not equipped to take care of them you gotta build the west wing for them gotta yeah. do it, but so it all, all of this oh yeah it all comes in it all comes into play man yeah, you gotta yeah. you know <laughs> cash is king 
And preparation is important. Absolutely. On all, yeah, on all fronts. Like it was like I had this conversation with my parents. It was, how does this work? Do you take care of your children your whole life for your children to then take care of you mm. while having children? So how do we mm. break this cycle? It's planning. That The answer is yes, planning. Yes, a lot of planning. It's, it's a, that's the, the overall answer that we came to the conclusion is like planning, right? Because if I'm preparing for the next generation to take care of the generation before me, it's a strain. Yeah. It can be, or it can be. We've been blessed. I'm extremely blessed. I'm not yeah. complaining. But, like, everybody's not in my situation. And everybody may not have a situation, like, hey, mom and dad, you can come live with me. Yeah. So what do you, the planning part has to The conversation needs to be, happen, but the planning phase needs to happen right after the conversation. So I just, Chat GBT says, in New York City, um, nursing homes could exceed $15,000 a month. Sorry, so maybe not thirty. No, but that's, that's, that's just a minimum. If you want other, you know. 15 bands is a lot. No, for sure. $15,000, yeah. And that's not for exceptional care. It, it, that's yeah. base level. Yeah. Right. And if you want like other specialists to come in. Yeah, and, and private doctors, that's yeah. a whole yeah. other Telling thing. Telling somebody to pay, I mean, asking someone 15000 when they've lived on fixed income potentially for the past 10 to 15 years is crazy. Then asking somebody who might be their, their children to mm -hmm. now afford, you know, most people are renting, but let's say you are average mortgage, $3,000. Yeah. $15,000? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, healthcare. And then to not get the best coverage, like if your family is in those nursing homes, you better go check. Because yeah. the, the, the abuse That's levels. Right. You want to put them in the best one. You want to have them in close proximity to where yep. you are so you can get there. Private room. You have a roommate. That, yeah. That's like, oof. Yeah, no, nah, this, this, this medical system, man. Medical, medical system, biggest business in America. Absolutely. Biggest business in America. At uh, every level, they'll find a way to extract money out of you. College, tuition, marriage, the health care. And then that's the crazy part. They'll put you in a nursing home and then put you on more medicine to run the insurance up. Oh. Then end up having to pay out of pocket. Yeah. Insurance is a whole yeah. Yeah. It's a whole insurance another. Crazy. Yeah. But gotta gotta make you, sure. Yeah, gotta you make pay sure. it, then when you need it, they don't want you to use it. <laughs> then when you do use it, they up your premium. Yeah. It's like it's, there's a race that you can't win. Yeah. Yeah.